Hey guys, I want to talk about condos today. If you're thinking about buying a condo, listen to this. Here are a few tips to think of what separates a condo apart from each other. I'm Spencer Schumacher. I'm a real estate broker in Southern Wisconsin. I serve the greater Madison area, Dane County, and the surrounding areas. All right, you're looking at condo association. First thing you do when you pull up to the association is look at the maintenance that has been done. Um, first of all, you want to be able to find a place that's the right fit for you. Do that private entry? Is it top floor? Does it have great amenities? Is it the right view? Whatever those things are, those have to fit your criteria, have to fit your price budget. But when you walk up to the property, has the maintenance been done? Is there beautiful gardens? Is there snow that's been plowed? What does the exterior of the place look like? What do the hallways look like? This is the part that the condo association manages. If those are a mess, if there's uh, lots of smells in the hallways, those type of things you want to think about when you're buying a condo. Is a condo professionally managed? I find professionally managed condo associations run a lot smoother because there are people who know what they're doing and they've done it for a long time. If they aren't professionally managed or managed by the unit owners, if the unit owners do it, I'm not saying they can't do a good job. They can do a really good job. Oftentimes, smaller associations are that way. But if you manage your own association, just know it's more work for you. It's more work for everyone involved. And you may not know all the steps involved and you may be doing a lot more work than you think you're going to be doing. Read the meeting minutes. The minutes from each of the meetings, sometimes they're quarterly, monthly, annual meetings. This is where everybody comes and brings their complaints. Is the, is the grass not being mowed enough? Do they have a leak in this room? Did somebody not pay their condo dues? Did, uh, do they need to hire, get a new roof? All these things can be found in the meeting minutes if they're good meeting minutes. This will tell you the community you're buying into. Look at the budget. Understand how much money is being spent by the association. Does it match how much the condo dues are getting paid? How much is getting set aside for reserve fund every month? You could have a certain amount set aside because big projects on condo associations, roofs, siding, windows, or sometimes associations, sometimes unit owners, parking lots, landscaping, those type of things really cost a lot of money. So make sure there's money being set aside. Then check the reserve fund. How much money is set aside for those future projects? If there's no money being set aside, at some point there's going to need a new roof. And at some point, you're going to, everyone's going to have to take their condo dues, whatever they're paying, and they're going to have to pay one big chunk for an assessment. Maybe you'll have, everyone will have to pay $5,000. Make sure you check that. Last thing I like to do is actually check the court systems and see if the, what kind of a pending litigation there is against the condo association or the condo association is filing. Most of the time, you're going to see the condo association going after condo fees for a delinquent owner who maybe has not sold their property yet, maybe or not sold, maybe have not paid their, their condo dues. Um, but you can figure out if a contractor hasn't been paid, if a contractor did something faulty. These are the type of things you can look up in condo association in the court records. So if you're buying a condo, we'd love to help you. There's lots of steps in the process, but please reach out. Spencer Schumacher, Spencer Real Estate Group.